Today, we're going to take a look at an important weapon to have during these troubling times, and I want to share with you the real war that we have going on. So keep watching. Without wasting any time, the underlying problem that we have right now in America and in this world is a spiritual warfare, good versus evil. Listen, the enemy knows his days are numbered, but while he still has time, he's on a mission to cause chaos and to gain as many souls as he possibly can. Many people, they don't want to talk about Satan, but I believe that you need to understand that he is powerful, that he has many tactics. He accuses, he condemns. He places fear. He is a master of falsehood. And he has deceived more people than any magician that I've ever seen. And do you think that Satan cares if you're black or white or any other color? Do you think Satan cares what political beliefs that you have or what side of the street that you're from? And in case you haven't noticed it yet, he's after our children. How else do you think that he's going to control the next generation? Let's take prayer out of school. Meanwhile, let's have their parents or the people in this world teach them to hate those who don't look the same or even think the same for that matter. Hashtag real tall. Listen, I can really get going on this, but I don't want to get off track. So let's talk about the weapon that we all need. And that weapon is praying. Prayer. Have a conversation with God. Prayer makes the enemy tremble. And that's why I want to go into a little more detail about the word pray, P-R-A-Y. So this is going to represent the P, which is for praise. Like any parent, God loves to see that we have grateful hearts. But more important, it opens our heart to God and it connects us to our everlasting Father. Next, we have the R. This is going to represent the, this is going to represent the R for repent. Do you think that you're without sin or better than others? So many are quick to judge. Humble yourself and you will be honored. If you want your prayers to be heard, your heart needs to be right with God and with one another. Next, we have the A. The A is for asking. God delights in doing for his children. But at the same time, don't just make it about me, me, me. What about your friends, your family? What about asking for protection, for healing, or even praying for this world? Search your heart and express what's important. Next, we have the why. This is going to represent the why for yielding. Because hours before Jesus' crucifixion, he prayed, not my will, but your will be done. In a world where right and wrong are frequently confused and the future is so uncertain, the one thing that we can know with absolute certainty is that God's plan for those who love him is good. And the safest place that we can be is in the center of his divine will, for he loves us. Oh, how could I forget the red? The red is for love. You see, we have the P for praise, because we have to have grateful hearts. We have the R for repent. Our hearts need to be in the right place with God and with others. And we have the A for asking. So we're going to need love to care for ourselves and others. And for us to be yielding, we would have to know of God's love for us. Listen, every area of praying is important. But as you can see, we, we must have love. So if as people, we really want to make a difference then it's time that we wake up and understand there's a spiritual warfare going on. It's time to stop thinking the color of one's skin or the uniform that someone is wearing defines who that person is. It's time to stop listening to the media and start listening to the Word of God. Do you want to know what's going on in the world today? It was written a long time ago in the Bible. Open it up. Take a look. Read it. It's God speaking to us. And if we truly want to see people come together, then we're going to have to turn in prayer to the one who first loved us. Because again, without love, 
We have nothing. Absolutely nothing. As always, thank you for watching me. Listen, if you got something out of this, please take the time and share it. And until next time, God bless.